Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Okay, yeah. My audio sounds pretty good. Um, let's... Right, stream manager. There it is. Okay. Uh, actually, yeah, let me move. Hold on. Yeah, turn that off. Okay. Um, yeah, there's a bit of background noise, which is mostly the dishwasher running in the kitchen. Apologies for that. Uh... I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna try this out, see, see how it works. I'm streaming in the living room off the PS4 directly, so no, no camera, unfortunately, but whatever. I don't think most people really care that much. Um, yeah, no oath today, if just because I don't, don't have the energy. I got my second, uh... <coughs> vaccine dose on Thursday and it, it really put me out for the end of this week and so I'm just uh, gonna gonna play a little bit of this gonna play a little bit of this for a while see see how I how, how much energy I have the main thing I've just uh, I had really bad chills the night that I got the second dose of the vaccine, and I've just been kind of, kind of sweaty and warm, a little bit like foggy, kind of like the flu. Uh, well, uh, I think yeah, I want the axe. We're going into this is like my fourth or fifth attempt on this boss fight. I just haven't played Symphony Tonight very much since I was like a kid. Played it a lot. I got um on the PSP. They did a re-release of Rondo of Blood, which had never actually come to the U.S. at that point. That was the first time it was an English release of Rondo of Blood, or at least an American release. Um, and one of the big things was if you found in a certain part of Rondo of Blood. Symphony of the Night, it was like a collectible item, then you could just play all of Symphony of the Night, which is wild to me, because Rondo of Blood is, is classic Castlevania, go through specific levels and all that, which is fun. I do love that, but like, Symphony of the Night is a much um, heftier kind of game. So I would figure... Oh, I would figure... If they could fit Symphony of Night on there, why they wouldn't have just sold Symphony of the Night as its own thing. That was the big thing with the PSP in general, was that it could do PS1 games. A lot of the PSP was just ports of PS1 games, which I was super happy for because I never had a PS1. Yeah. Almost. Almost got him. Oh well. So I gotta play all the, the PS1 games I never really played before. In general, like, ports and emulation was the best thing for the PSP. It just sucks, cause like, Sony puts out really good handhelds, but then they never give them a decent library. You know? I'm gonna farm some hearts before I go in here. That axe would be a lot more helpful if I do. Um, but, yeah, I just, I, I wish there was more support for the PSP. Because it, it was one of my favorite handhelds. And it just, uh, never really went anywhere. I mean, what, what memorable games were there for PSP? I suppose Danganronpa, right? I believe that was a PSP originally, or that might have been Vita. The Vita was specifically really big for visual novels like that. 
that's if considering the setup is working, um, I would probably play some dang enough at some point. We have all the games. We have the one and two collection and the um damn it, use the the knife. Uh we have the collection of one and two and we have V three and we have Despair Girls. Which I've watched Coco play through all of those. I haven't played through them. Ah! I gotta use the D-pad. I keep I keep using the analog stick and it's really easy using analog to accidentally hit just enough up to use the sub weapon. This is not very efficient for me. Oh hey. That was good. Yeah, I think this this loop is gonna be the way to go. There we go. I have I um I I hundred percented Symphony of the Night on PSP. Um I didn't do the full or hundred percent I'm not sure. Maybe it was like 51%. I remember it was like something weird. This was one of those games that you could do over 100%. But yeah, like the main, the original castle I did. And then I got like most of the way through the inverted castle and I just never finished it. Which is... Uh, it's... It's difficult. It's very difficult, the, the inverted castle. And... As I, I presume is pretty clear, I I am not very good at games. I I do my best. I enjoy games, but I don't really play them to win. I play games to I play games to understand games. You know, there there's just so much in the design of games and the the art of making games that is so incredibly fascinating to me. So, well, yeah, I do totally have a fun time, and, like, winning is very entertaining. Um, I just enjoy the experience. It's one of the reasons that Edmund McMillan is, like, one of my favorite game devs. He, his stuff is just such pure art, and it's art in the design. Like, if you look at Super Meat Boy... Um, I maxed out my hearts. If you look at Super Meat Boy, like, that game is an amazing piece of art that just, like, really analyzes how we think of difficulty and how what we consider challenges in games. And it's just this interesting experiment of like what what someone is willing to put up with in the interest of challenge. And I just yeah, I really love it. Super Meat Boy is one of my favorite games. I have not beaten it because it is incredibly hard. But I I really enjoy it. And anytime I've played it, I've had a great time. Oh, oh. Alright, alright, focus time. Oh! Alright, I got it. Got the little birdish guy. This is what always gets me, is this... When he turns red... And I know, I know this is not even that... This is not even the difficult part of the game. This is the, like, the first boss. I just... I'm doing my best, okay? Uh, 
I'm still kind of out of it. <coughs> From the vaccine. So. Alright, I gotta, I gotta get this. This time, this is, this is embarrassing. I recognize, I mean, I guess, not always a necessity. This is definitely going to be a very chill stream. I'm mostly just testing the setup, as I said, but, um... Yeah, we're just farming. Grinding. Which is... Not really something I super appreciate in a game. Although it's not always necessary. The general idea is, like, you can always get through something without grinding. If you if you take the time and you have the skill. But, um... I generally don't have the patience. And I certainly don't have the skill. So... Okay, and that's it. I'm, I'm a little confused why it maxes out at 56. That seems like such a, an odd number. Specifically want to take out this uh, flying guy. Which, I know they have specific names, but they don't necessarily tell you in gameplay. I don't feel like looking up a wiki. One thing I always found annoying about this game is how it doesn't immediately remove your health from the counter. Well, I'm done for. This is bad. But yeah, it, it shows the number of how much damage you've taken, and then it zips over there in that little animation. Out! Oh my god! Okay. Oh! I am just doing so terribly. than I remember. I don't know, is there like... Hit that. There's a little zip back. Pretty sure you can have a shield at some point. I haven't got one yet. In this particular playthrough. Uh, there isn't really anywhere else to explore right now. Hmm. I'm going to build all these up, and then I'm going to go save you, which I probably should have done the first time. 
little, little fogged out right now. Oh, let me get the heart. Okay. Audio-wise, there's anything I can adjust. This is, a, this is a test stream and all. Be good to know that everything's working out. Okay, so that, that cuts off the visuals. Apologies. So you guys can still hear me, which is interesting. Uh, whoops. Took a screenshot. Advanced settings. Uh, okay. There we go. I was seeing if there's a way to, like, mute my while uh, streaming. And there isn't with the PlayStation. Yeah. Oh, let me make sure I have all my stuff, like, properly equipped. I have health items. What am I doing? Okay, okay. Um, but I, mean, I could, like, set up basically a cough button or something wouldn't be too hard but it might be insignificant just double check okay we do have max max health oh god crap ah whatever Whatever. I just hate using the PlayStation D-pad. The PlayStation has consistently always had the worst D-pad. It's so, like, just mushy and shallow. Really uncomfortable. Nintendo has... Traditionally had very good D-pads, although they kind of stopped using them for the Switch, which is one of my few complaints of, about the Switch, is uh, the lack of a D-pad. And, of course, the Joy-Con Drift. The best controller, like, comfort and usability-wise, is the Xbox controllers. Like... Xbox 360 specifically? Xbox One is okay. Yeah, it's it's just super comfortable. Like, they're super, like, thick, and they just feel really nice and substantial in your hands. Um, which I think I can stream from the Xbox? I think you need Xbox Live to do that, which is not worth it. All right. Out. Take out the flying guy first, if I can. That's like the whole thing with this boss, is that you can do it. You can kill them separately. I will say, the rumble for this version of this boss feels great. It feels super scary. The booting. 
And then we whoop, turkey. Nice. Come on. Come on. Ah. Okay. Yep. Clip. Uh, I got a pot roast. Um. Oh, come on! Ah. That's what I really find frustrating about this form of this guy is you just get stuck in loops. He hits you once and then you're just like down for the count. Oh my god! Ah. Okay, let's let's try a little Rondo of Blood, you know, cause it's on here, so why not? It's also pretty hard, I'm fairly certain, but I only ever played it the once so that I could unlock Symphony of the Night on the PSP version. For langer Zeit lebten die Menschen glücklich und zufrieden. Niemand bemerkte den Schatten, der sich langsam über ihnen ausbreitete. Huh. Not what I expected. Although I guess it makes sense. Die Dunkelheit trübte ihre Sinne und das Böse fraß sich tief in ihre Seelen. Vom Wahnsinn getrieben schmiedet. Well, that's pretty neat, I guess, but. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> okay. Let's try it out. Wow. Animations. Neat. This feels very Ninja Gaiden. Here we go. Hmm. Skeletons. Oh, yeah. I love them. I think that's how how mace works, but whatever. All right, here we go. Is this me? Richter. Oh, jeez. Okay. Starting with a boss fight, eh? I can take it. I 
have a sub weapon. Ooh. Okay. Dinner of flame. We're just leaving those horses. Let them do their own thing. Wow. The uh, knives really feel good here. Yeah, this is some classic Castlevania. Hmm. We're gonna stick with the knife for now. Whoa, are those? Oh, okay, that's just environmental details. It does not hurt. Ah, crap. Thought he was far enough over. That's fine. Just to get the most. Oh yeah! Of course, I gotta whip the walls. I can't forget to whip the walls and cast me. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, okay, you can hit those. Right. For some reason, I thought I hit those. But I missed it! Okay. Whoa. I like that some of the sound effects are coming out of the controller, which I don't know if you guys can hear it on uh, through the mic, but that's that's a neat little detail. Oh yeah, I saw that. I know how secrets work. I wish I could stream like this from the Switch. That would be very helpful. Because the capture cards I get keep, like, not being great. The Genki is definitely better. Um, there's, like, slight audio delay happening with it, but, you know, not too bad. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's a big guy. Oh, well, I can't hit him for crap. What do I do here? Where's his... Ah! There it is. Gotta get... Gotta get his chest area. Come on. Uh, nope. Oh, crap. Ah! I mean, this is pretty good. This feels just like super amped up, like OG Castlevania, as it stands. The big thing with Castlevania is that it's effectively it's effectively an action puzzle game. Like. It superficially looks like just an action brawler, but like... In the design, it's treated more like a puzzle game. Like, this combat is very much... Something where you gotta like... The way you move and dodge... Is very... Intentionally difficult. It makes almost every encounter feel like a boss fight and like really good boss fights where you have to duck and dodge and you gotta maneuver perfectly crap i need to hit this this looks like it might have a secret nah nothing oh well oh, that's a dragon that's a dang dragon right there Oh, are we fighting? Oh, we're fighting a dragon. Or maybe a, a wyvern. Seems a bit small for a dragon. Whoop! Uh oh! Oh no, he's got him. Oh. Whoop! 
Ah, oh, crap. Too low. Oh, that only takes one heart. Whoa, crap! What was that? Okay, bud. Okay, bud. We're gonna we're gonna deal with this right about now. Ah! Oh, look at that! His health is down to nothing, and it still got me. Ugh. That's unfortunate. It's all right. I could definitely get it this this time around. Now that I know how many axes I have. Ah, come on. Ah. Okay, you can see from the trajectory where they're going. It's a little frustrating. It's, uh, it's a little random, but it's not too bad. This animation is fantastic. Look at the wing flaps. The way it moves. That's gorgeous. No, nope. no! Uh, again! No health left. Or I, I see the tiniest little sliver there, I guess. Well, this is my last shot. Alright, come on, bud. Come on, bud. Nope, nope, no. Oh. Come on, fate. Oh, all right, there we go, a little lower. If I don't have to jump, I can manage a little bit better. I want to test that fire. Ah, oh, that probably looked a little skilled, the way I, uh, like, hit him with the whip on the way down. As it turns out, I was trying to do the axe again. There we go. Got him. Classic. Castlevania. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, the orb. Nice. God grant me strength. Whoop. Oh! Stone bones! Or, mmm. See those crows. I probably want the, the axe. Oh! Oh! Ah, no, actually. Ah! I should have hung on to the knife. Oh, come on. There we go. We got him. Whoa, 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 whoa! Birds! I always appreciated Castlevania quite a bit. For it's a horror game, which is like it's like horror game in design and in theme, and like it was a horror game when there weren't really a ton of those. I guess there was like games. Ah. There were games based on horror films, but there weren't, like, horror games of the way we consider them now. Well, I think that'll do it for this test stream. Thanks for tuning in. I'll watch through this, see see how it is. Uh, I'm gonna save and quit, which I appreciate being able to save in a Castlevania. But yeah, that'll do it for, for right now. Might do some more later. I don't know. I've been... I've been slacking on streaming, I will admit. I just keep forgetting that I can do it. I've I, 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 I just been lazy. I, I, there's no excuse, you know. I just keep putting it off and putting it off. I gotta try and at least stream a couple times a week. Regardless, thanks for watching. You know, be sure to follow, subscribe. Um, check me out on YouTube, Iggy and the Ape. Twitter, at IggyDKid. And all of that. Check out the past broadcasts. Cool. All right, thanks. Vom thanks for watching. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Sie einen Pakt Goodbye. Mit dem oh. I forgot how I had that set up. Uh. Oh wait, how do I? 
Hold on. How do I stop the broadcast? Uh, it might be up top. I can't see. Stop broadcasting. Okay, there we go. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye.